Psalm 22 was viewed by the earliest followers of Jesus, by the gospel writers, as having been very prophetic of the events and the manner in which Jesus died. Not simply because of the, of the cry, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? But also because of the casting of lots, the mocking, the garments, etc., that are mentioned in that psalm. So he leads with that. And it may be that at that moment, Jesus does not feel God's presence with him. I mean, we see the fullness of the weight of what is happening. But then, as the Gospels progress, we find other things that Jesus says that show that he has still this ability to give to others in the midst of his own suffering. So for example, he is crucified between two prisoners who are also suffering for a capital crime. One mocks him and the other says, don't mock Jesus, he's, he's certainly an innocent man and not a criminal like us. And he says to Jesus, remember me today when you are in paradise. And Jesus says, this day you will be with me in paradise. In the midst of his own suffering, Jesus is able to care for another. Extraordinary. Another phrase that he says that is so important and we don't know the timing of it, was when he said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. To marry that torture and pain with this perspective that God should forgive the ignorance of these people is extremely powerful.